Hi Aquarius, Power, I'd like to come at you with the reading. Aquarius, this is going to be behind the scenes on your person, alright? So let's get into the reading, Aquarius, and see all about your person, right? Let's see what we have, and let's go ahead and use the... Uh, this is their reading. These are general, so they may or may not resonate. Let's see what we got for Aquarius's person. And let's see, let's look at the energy that they are in right now for... Aquarius's person, please. Let's see what we have for Aquarius's person. The heart of the matter for them right now is the Six of Swords. All right. The Six of Swords is typically uh, leaving. Yeah, this lady's uh, she's carrying a bag here. She's waving goodbye. That's what the Six of Swords is usually about. Your person, it looks like they're waving goodbye to somebody. The Page of Wands, uh, and they have. The Six of Cups is coming into play for them. Somebody, I feel like their old flame is returning to them right here in their uh, energies coming into play for them. And because that's what the Six of Cups is, Aquarius, it is old flames and like X's. That's really kind of what it's mainly about. Energies coming into play for them is the Ten of Cups. Are not the, coming into play, but their highest expectations. Your person thinks that there's somebody here coming in from their past and they think they're going to be happy with this person. I feel like that's it. Temperance is showing up. It's in the reverse. They might be Sagittarius, all right? They could be. And interestingly here enough, temperance is about kind of tempering your, uh, tempering your energies, right? So there could be joy versus sorrow, justice versus anger, kind of. Temperance is like tempering. It's even in the Bible. It talks about... Uh, kind of, you know, kind of moderating your energies here, right? Mm -hmm. Interesting, right? Kind of like, uh, you know, it just is. It's about moderating your energies here. It's about uh, a blending, blending, like, don't get too depressed about that. And don't maybe don't, don't get too excited about something you don't even like understand yet. It can be that kind of energy. This could be a Sagittarian, your person. And uh, they have the star card here. This could be you, Aquarius. And uh, these cards are new, right? This could be you showing up here. This lady, uh, she's supposed to be a housewife. And she got, uh, she got the first prize at the cooking contest or the county fair, right, for her pizza or her pie. I think it's a pie, yeah. Interesting here. And let's see other, how other people are affecting them is the world card. Yeah, this your person has a lot of major arcana here. So let's look at uh, this deck here. And they have the Six of Swords. We're going to look at that just real quick. And it is about Revelations, Transition, and Better Times Ahead. Yeah, your person could be learning about some secrets here. Uh, this lady is walking away. This is like somebody's in transition, your person here. Uh, I feel like they're in transition with somebody from their past, Six of Cups. And now they have the Page of Swords, right? And this is, uh, let's see, all about the Page of Swords. Inquisitive, insubordinate, and mischievous. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel like your person here, there's some type of, they're in transition. Somebody's returning to them who is kind of mischievous. That's kind of how it looks here. Maybe a rebel bad boy type. Uh, inquisitive. Maybe your person is like uh, right now kind of in, like being inquisitive or curious about this person who's coming into their life. This person's coming back to them. Six of Cups right here in the energy of energies coming into play. Yeah, this is not like a maybe or a plan. No, it's not like that. And their highest expectations is the Ten of Cups. And this lady, you know, her and her husband are at some party here where there's ten, there's ten, uh, she's supposed to be a housewife. So that's her husband, and she's at a, a cocktail party here, and, you know, she's doing this kind of uh, tango-looking dance here. She's happy, she is, I feel like she's happily married to that person. This is uh, your person's highest expectations. So they, you know, maybe they are being inquisitive here about it, they're in transition with this other person. This person who could be coming back to them is in transition. Like maybe leaving another situation. It could be. And we have for the Ten of Cups, celebration, wisdom, and completion. This is your person's highest expectations. 
maybe they think this person is going to end it. This person, this reading, your person's reading is about them and somebody else, Aquarius. You might be in it. Here's the star. I mean, I hate to say this, but this is what this is kind of talking about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's look at uh, the energies leaving them. It's temperance, right? And I was saying that I feel like this person could be Sagittarius, right? Yeah. Uh, let's see, your person. I know in the past you were kind of dealing, some of you were dealing with a Sag. Cooperation, compromise, and sympathy. This is energies leaving them. Mm hmm. Temperance is a delicious and healthy combination of opposite sides of the spectrum. A heaping helping of compromise and cooperation or cooperation in marriage, relationships, or partnerships. Spoon this mixture into every as aspect of your life. Yeah, uh, add equal parts joy and sorrow, anger and forgiveness, justice and compassion. Your person's forgiving somebody. That's what this is. I feel like they are. They're forgiving somebody. Let's get a card here. Let's see what we have for, uh, for said. I mean, Aquarius's person. Let's get one of these cards here, from this deck here. Oh, it's right here. We're gonna take a card out of this deck here, to clarify. And we have the Eight of Wands. This is change leaving your person. Uh, I feel like your person's healing the situation with somebody. Three of Swords right here. Yep. Three of Swords. This is this is the Three of Swords healing. Uh, this is change, and this is already happening here. This person's coming. Whoever they're dealing with is coming, like into play, like tonight, tomorrow, uh, early next week, something like that. The Star card, guys, and this. Let's see what that's about. This is energies coming soon. Let's see. Maybe that's you, Aquarius. Admiration, limelight, and success. Okay, so this is not necessarily talking about. Aquarius in this deck. This is the housewife's deck. And no, you don't have to be a housewife, right? I'm not. <laughs> but the star card is admiration, success, and limelight. This is coming s soon. I feel like your person is having success with this other person because the lady won. She won at the fair or the contest, wherever it was, right? She has all these ribbons. The world card is energies, Aquarius, and this is how other people are affecting them. There's a completion of another situation. Let's have a look at the world card. Mm -hmm. That's what it is, right? The world card is always a completion, good or bad. Yeah, or sometimes both. Because it is the end of the journey, excuse me, in the uh, major arcana. Yeah, the world card. Like you've come full circle. Great achievement. Dreams realized. End of a journey. I was just saying it's a journey, right? <clears throat> and this is how other people are affecting them. This is uh, dreams realized. Yeah, this person is at the end of a journey with somebody else, or they've come to a journey to come to your person. Uh, I feel like that's it. <clears throat> let's see. Let's get a card on the world for them. Let's see. And they have the Four of Cups. This is how other people are affecting them. For me, your person looks like they're dealing with somebody who's ending a situation. And they're coming to your person to, like, kind of make their dreams come true. Yeah, Aquarius, I want you to find somebody new, all right? <laughs> Forget this person. Page of Cups here, and maybe this is, maybe it's you, though, possibly, right? Because <clears throat> sometimes, you know, we, like, kind of mirror each other's energies, maybe. Page of Cups showing up here. And this is, and maybe this has to do with you, too. Uh, success or something like that with the star card <clears throat> coming soon. Maybe you're going to have yours, right? But let's see. Let's look at the page of cups. But in these readings, they don't really talk about it's kind of interesting. In this deck, they don't really say that the major arcana relates to people. This is kind of like my own you know, interpretation because we know in the traditional tarot that this is based on. The star card is Aquarius. Yeah, we totally know that. And let's see here, your person, let's see how they are affecting other people. The Page of Cups, let's see here. And uh, this little boy, he, you know, he's, he looks like he's in his pajamas, and he's actually, he's uh, giving love to his family. It looks like his grandmother, 
his, uh, his, maybe his parents, but he's pouring water on these flowers that are showing his family. It's really cute. Uh, they don't want us to do that now. No, they don't want the family anymore, you guys. No, they don't. Uh, don't don't believe them. Cultivation, growth, and nurture. The Page of Cups is a creative, sensitive, nurturing figure who demonstrates the importance of pouring plenty of TLC on any relationship you'd like to see blossom. Your person, this is how they are affecting other people. They're pouring love into this other situation. They are. And the moon card is what they fear. Here's another major arcana here. And this is interesting. Could be uh, They're showing the cold cream here. <laughs> Uh, and, you know, the bobby pins, it looks like, the moon card. They're fearing this, though, or hoping for it. So let's look at the moon. The moon is a new cycle, though, but let's see these uh, the take on it in this deck, right? Yeah, this is a really fun deck, but it is different. Instinct, intuition, and dreams. Your person is hoping here, uh, they're, they're hoping their, in their, their intuition is right about this other person and that their dreams are going to come true. I feel like, but let's have a look. A nightly ritual of mud masks, curlers, and hairnets can provide much more than just peaches and cream skin and perfect curls. Yeah, you could tell this is really old, uh, like about the 50s. While your body gets its beauty rest, your unconscious mind is providing dreams with hints and tips for your waking hours. The moon suggests that listening to your instincts and intuitions can help you through times of uncertainty. Yeah, maybe your person is, you know, trying to get ready for this other person, doing masks at night. Maybe they're doing pedicures. But this lady is sleep, asleep here, right? And she's sleeping pretty well here. But this is uh, telling your person to trust their dreams or their intuition about this other person. This is kind of a trip reading, uh, Aquarius. If you want to know all about your person, we're going to go over to the extent of yeah, how we are. <clears throat> and we're going to see all about them. We're going to see their outcome to this reading how they really feel about you, Aquarius. I want to see that. And the actions they're going to take, yes, and how they are seeing this situation or their perspective, what they're hiding. Their hi person's hiding a lot. They have a whole cabinet here of secrets, trust me. What they're hiding and what is unknown here. Uh, I mean, and what they are fearing, all right? We're going to find out their straight fear. Yeah, uh, what they're worried about or things like that. Thank you so much, guys. They're all super affordable. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And God bless.